I started taking HIV meds one year after my diagnosis in 1989. I've been on just about every HIV medicine there is because once you take the HIV meds, you can develop resistance to them if they're not taken properly. That's what happened to me. I became debilitated with HIV wasting syndrome, which is um, a syndrome which basically you lose your weight and you become dangerously thin. I had to enroll in clinical trials because I, the drugs I was taking weren't working. But I would like to see the day where I don't have to take HIV meds anymore. So I'm interested and excited about cure research because isn't that what we're looking for? That's, that's the dream. I became interested in what they call cure research when someone named Timothy Brown was cured of HIV and the way they did that was through gene editing. The study that I participated in, they took my cells from my plasma, they reprogrammed the stem cells so that those cells cannot be infected with HIV. And then, I, then the part of the study is then you go off your meds and see what happens. I had this unique experience that I'm still off medications. So what that means is, is that my body naturally controls the virus, and that for me is vastly different than what happened before I went into the study. HIV is so prevalent and so destructive that finding a cure for it would really, really change the whole paradigm of the disease. I don't know if you can calculate the volume of meaning for that. It, it would be such a, a wonderful and beautiful thing. American Gene Technologies is where we need to be with Cure Research today. So that's why I think we need more people, not only patients that are enrolling in the studies, but we need a global response. We need a global uh, effort and support in ending HIV.